Hey there, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studio. So this is the lesson 9 of the Corporate Explainer Animation course and in this lesson, we will learn how to animate characters like this. And if you have missed the previous lessons of this course, then you can check it out from the playlist link that is provided in the description and you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we are using throughout this course from our website that is again linked in the description and also in the pinned comment section. So after downloading the open file of this course from our website, you will get an After Effects practice file inside the AAP folder. So you can use this file to follow along with all the lessons of this course uh, because all the uh, all the precomps, uh, all the imported assets, illustrations, everything is properly organized, even the layers are properly labeled. So you can easily follow along with the lessons by using this After Effects practice file. So that being said, let's dive right into Adobe After Effects and let's get started with the scene setup in After Effects. Okay, we are in After Effects. So inside frame number one, we're going to use the matte layer of the door and use that matte layer as an alpha inverted matte. So first we are going to select this background layer and we will use this matte layer for the door. So select this background layer and just pick with, with the track matte with this matte layer and then we will invert the matte so that we can get a hole here inside the door. Now in the main composition we can bring the frame number two. So let's scale it down a little bit to properly set it up here in the composition window. All right, so now that the scene setup is done, let's get started with the character animation process. So let's get inside frame number two. And first we will animate this main character. So let's get inside the composition of this character. Okay, now first we will add some markers where the door is opening. So here is where the door starts opening and here the animation ends. So let's move the playhead at the start and here in the main composition we can add one marker at the start and one marker at the end. So using this timing, we can animate the character or start the character animation using this timing. So we can typically start the character animation from somewhere around here. So let's get inside frame number two and then inside the main character. Okay, and also turn on shy so that all the unnecessary layers are hidden. Okay, now let's select both these two controllers of the hand, open the position property at keyframes, open the rotation property at keyframes. Now also let's select the body layer and open the rotation property at keyframes and then the head layer, open the rotation property at keyframes. Now we can jump on to next 18 frames and add keyframes. Let's zoom into the timeline. Okay, also add keyframes on the position property in the second frame. So on the first frame, we will move the hands down like this and also add a little rotation on the body layer about 4 degree and even on the head layer and one more thing let's select this hand to controller layer and parent it with the body layer so on the second frame it's coming back to the neutral pose so from here let's jump on to next 12 frames and add keyframes and here we can add a little bit of overshoot so we can uh, rotate the head in the opposite direction about minus three degree even the body by about minus two degree and even move the hand in the opposite direction like this and even rotate it in the opposite direction and for the hand number two we can actually add an anticipation rather than directly moving and uh, just bending the hand and getting to the original pose. We can add a little anticipation like this. Let's easy the keyframes. And also let's add another overshoot after this. So from here we can jump on to next uh, about 9 frames. 
and add keyframes on the body head and the controller hand controller number one so we can slightly move the hand controller a little bit down in the opposite direction basically and we can add a little rotation on the positive direction so about 1.5 same for the body let's rotate it by one degree and the head by about 1.5 okay so this is how it turns out till now So after this we can keep like a few frames of pause so let's jump on to next four frames and add the same keyframes and after that we can add a little bit more movement so that overall uh, animation looks a bit dynamic so we can jump on to next uh, eight frames from here and let's uh, Add an anticipation. First, we will rotate the body in the opposite direction. So by about minus 1.5 and head by minus 2. Add hand in the opposite direction and also rotate in the negative direction by like minus 1.5 or minus 3. And from here, let's jump on to next 14 frames and from here let's rotate the body by about 2.5 degree hit by 2 degree and let's move the hand in this direction so the character is pointing out something in this direction and we can rotate the hand in the opposite direction and a little bit of overshoot so for that we can again jump on to next 8 frames and add keyframes so here we can basically uh, decrease the rotation of uh, the body head and the hand a little bit in the opposite direction so here we can give the body two degree and uh, the head can be 1.5 degree and uh, the hand rotation can be like uh, 3.5 degree and we can move it in the opposite direction a little bit so this is how overshoot is so it is just going to go past the original pose and then get back to the neutral pose so let's check out how it turns out till now okay so after that we can add a little head knot as well so from here we can uh, add the keyframe on the rotation property of the head so like this we are just extending the animation and adding a little dynamic movement to the character so from here we can jump on to next uh, five frames and let's give the rotation of five degree then let's jump on to next five frames again and let's copy and paste the initial keyframe and then and then we can select this three set of keyframes and copy and paste it again and maybe again so we are we have just added three nodes here i think the nodes are very fast so we can easily slow it down by selecting it and pressing and holding the alt key and dragging the keyframes outward like this so let's check out the animation all right so now we will add follow through so for that we will just offset the keyframes that's it so first we have to check which is the main action of this character animation like that we decide how to offset the keyframes to add the follow through properly so here the main action is done with the hand first the character is pointing out the hand and uh, based on that with the chain reaction there is some body movement and then some he head movement so the uh, hand is actually going to guide the whole mo whole motion so for that we can simply keep this hand animation as a reference so we can offset the rotation property by two frames then select these keyframes of the second hand we can offset it again let's offset the rotation by a frame then from here we can offset the body layer 
and after the body the head is following the body so like this we have added the offset so let's check out the animation now you see just by properly uh, fixing which is the main action of the character and which uh, which are the body parts that are following the main action based on that uh, i have added the uh, added the offset of the keyframes and this is how uh, it has already added a nice follow through in this character animation okay now let's animate character number two so let's get inside frame number two so here i have uh, shied out few illustration layers like the hand and the forum layers of all the characters because we don't need to work with those layers anymore we only need the controller layer and to animate the body we just need the body layer of the character that's it so let's start with animating this this character so for this character we are going to add a loop animation so we will just animate a simple typing animation so let's open the position property at keyframes open the rotation property at keyframes now from here let's jump on to next four frames and let's move the hand a little bit above and a little rotation also and then again jump on to next four frames and copy and paste the initial keyframe easy is it let's copy and paste it one more time from here let's add a pause of two frames or three frames and then we can simply copy and paste this keyframes like a few more times and then again we can add a pause so let's check out the animation Okay, now let's add loop expression in these two properties with keyframes. So the expression is loop in plus loop out minus the value. Copy this expression and paste it on the position property as well. And again, we can offset it by a frame or two to add a little offset to add a little follow through. Okay, now we can copy this all these keyframes and paste it on the other hand's controller layer but we are just going to select the position property and shift it in the original position where it was before all right so and also i have just offset the keyframes so that everything is not animating together now let's check out the animation Now you can see it has added a nice typing animation in a loop. Okay, now we can add a little rotation for the head of this character. So let's select the body layer and let's get inside the composition. And let's select the head layer and open the rotation property at keyframes. Now let's jump on to next eight frames and rotate it in the front direction by four or five degree easy is the keyframes we can add a little pause and then again let's bring it back to about one degree maybe so we are just adding some random rotation keyframes so that there is some variation in the animation so so to make an animation a complete proper loop you need to make sure that the first keyframe and the last keyframe is exactly the same so here i have just copied and pasted the initial keyframe like it's starting from zero degree and also ending at zero degree so after this we can add a few frames of pause and and then add the loop expression so let's check out the animation All right, so it's looking nice. And in the similar way, you can animate the red shirt character. So now let's move on with animating the character number three. 
okay so we are animating this character so first we will animate some typing animation with this hand controller so we will start the animation from somewhere around here where the door is starting to open up okay now let's select this controller and let's animate only this hand since this hand is uh, actually hidden behind the laptop layer we don't really need to animate that layer so let's open the position property add keyframe open the rotation property add keyframe then let's jump on to next five frames let's move it above a little bit and also let's add some rotation in the opposite direction now let's jump on to next five frames again and copy and paste the initial keyframes is is the keyframes copy and paste there's three set of keyframes again so we have added two typing effect after that we can add few frames of pause and then again we can copy and paste all these keyframes maybe one more time so this is how it turns out till now so after this we will move this hand above and uh, hit and enter on the laptop and uh, like that we will even use uh, the match cut concept to transition to the next frame of course we will learn more about this uh, in the lesson where we are learning about how to animate transition for explainer videos where we will learn a lot of different techniques for transitions so right now we will just animate this hand such a way that it should look like the character is uh, um, hitting the enter button on the laptop so let's add few frames of pause now from here let's jump on to next eight frames and here we are adding an anticipation okay let's uh, move the keyframe by a few more frames and let's rotate it in the opposite direction and we are just moving the hand above so that it's properly visible and then we will jump on to next eight frames and copy and paste the initial keyframe let's check it out now okay now we have to add some head movement because this character is looking just too static so before adding some head movement we can even add some uh, body movement as well so let's open the rotation property and and let's add some random body movement so from here we can just rotate it by a uh, one degree then easy is the keyframe then again we can add some keyframes here and rotate it in the opposite direction and from here then again getting back to the neutral pose with the rotation of zero degree and here where the character is hitting the enter button we are actually going to add some rotation on the body layer so that the action looks uh, even more significant so in the anticipation pose let's uh, rotate the body by two degree then uh, at the end by minus 0 0.5 degree and then getting back to zero degree okay now we will select these keyframes and offset it by a few frames and now we will copy this keyframe and paste it on the head layer of the character but before that we will move the playhead by a few frames so that we paste it by offsetting the keyframe so let's get inside the composition window of the body layer and paste it on the rotation property of the head all right so that was all for this video and in the next lesson we will learn how to animate this ui pop-up in the background of this uh, character frame so that is it and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye